you. Thanks very much. Well, overnight last night we had some wet weather. Most of that has now cleared to the southeast. It was courtesy of this weather front. It pushed down from the northwest. Now, this afternoon it could develop a bit of a wave on it, and if that happens, some of the overnight rain could spread back into parts of Suffolk and Essex. But I think for most of us, it will be a dry afternoon, a fair bit of cloud, but some brightness and sunshine, and a few showers. Temperatures reaching highs of 18 or 19 Celsius, perhaps 20 Celsius in the best of any sunshine, with mainly light, perhaps moderate on the North Norfolk coast, northerly winds. So, overnight tonight, that rain should clear away and then it becomes largely dry. We may just hold on to a bit more in the way of cloud in the south and we'll have some clear spells developing elsewhere. Lowest temperatures will widely between about 8 and 11 degrees Celsius, although we could see 6 or 7 degrees Celsius out in the countryside. And then on Saturday, well, we've got this northerly flow of air which could bring in a few showers and this weather front is still fairly close by. So first thing, that front could push some rain again back into parts of Suffolk and Essex but on the whole Saturday is looking a largely dry day but with a scattering of showers and if you do get to see a shower and they won't be for everyone it could be on the sharp side. Temperatures a degree or so lower compared to today up to about 16 or 17 degrees Celsius and it's likely to be breezier out there with a light to moderate north to northeasterly. And then on Sunday, those winds should ease down a touch. It's looking largely dry on Sunday with just an odd shower. And then some wet weather Sunday night into Monday. That should clear to leave a showery day on Monday and windy and cold too with possible gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Mm.